I'm Megan and I'm an archivist here at the North Dakota State Archives. I deal with incoming collections. Currently I'm working on the Veterans Oral History Interview Collection. This collection was started roughly around 2003. That is a mixture of paper, AV, moving image, and photographic materials donated by veterans or by family members of veterans on their behalf. We've noticed that a lot of photographs that'll come in, sometimes we don't have the full background on the people within the photographs or what's going on or anything like that and sometimes it's difficult to ask questions because the person may have passed away, the donor may no longer be contactable and so it's really hard to gain information about some of these photographs and materials. How do you describe photographs? How do we describe photographs? We do have kind of a method to go through whenever we're identifying photographs we'll try to identify the unknowns people and then we'll also try to give a description of what is possibly going on in the picture or what we assume is going on, give a description of the background, the setting. The photos in these collections were usually taken by service members or family members from the time and we don't have any background on where they are specifically, either because they didn't notate it on the photograph. Whenever I have a question about that, I get the image, I share it with my go-to expert to give me answers so that way I can give a more robust description. We do put photographs that we have that are unidentified that may be of interest and we'll um, share it on social media or we'll put it in a newsletter and we'll ask people like, hey, if you have any information, please call. It also engages the community in an amazing way because usually there's a great story behind someone noticing someone's face in a picture. We are always encouraging more people to donate to this collection. It's ever growing. If anybody wants to donate, reach out and let us know. We can always get that set up for you. Find out more at history.nd.gov forward slash archives.